bike check of the brand new 2022 PK River 2745 Perry Creamer Edition. Shout out to my guy Joe No Blocks. He just blessed me with this bike for my birthday, which is allowing me to do this bike check for you uh, So we about to get into it. First of all, this bike to me is literally Joe let me borrow it for the weekend. I rode it. I said I have to have this. I knew I wanted this bike already. It was one of my top two choices from SE, but now that I rode this, I said I have to have this just to feel. It's a 27.5. It got that small feel, almost kind of feel like or almost a blocks flyer with disc brakes, just a little more, you know, more comfortable. Still got the BMX feel. I mean, this year is crazy. I mean, we got, you know, we got the Oakley B1B grips. I mean, these is the most comfortable grips. Soon as you break them in, you gotta ride them for a little bit. But once you break them in, they like mold to your hand, just get so soft, feel so good. You know, we got the Tektro hydraulic brakes front and back, which is big. A lot of people take them off, but I suggest y'all just play with it for a couple days. Check out, do you like the front brakes? Try some front brake stuff. Of course, it's the 45th year anniversary. You know the PK Ripper's always an upgrade. So it come with the snap pads. A lot of the bikes ain't even coming with pads. This come with the snap pads. Another big thing for me, come with the quick release seat clamp. Literally the only thing I changed on this bike, I put my Merit plastic pedals and my Merit pegs. The bike does not come with pegs. I added the pegs on. I don't really like, personally like to ride metal pedals. But you know the metal the pedals that come with it sturdy i just don't want to get hit my shin with it but being that it's you know a bike aimed at the older crowd the perry kramer edition it definitely should come with the metal pedals that it does just overall this bike's crazy you know you got the nice grippy seat the tires feel wide it doesn't feel like you riding like a regular big ripper with tire feels almost like a beast mode even though the tires are slightly shorter uh, you know, got the two-piece crank on here. I personally love the two-piece crank. Everybody always talks about, oh, the gearing. You can't really change the gearing, but you can always just change the cog first step. That'll make your gearing lighter if you don't like it. And then you can change the chain ring. But for me, I think the bike is perfect stock. It comes with that quick-release seat clamp. To me, this bike is done. It's literally fresh out the box perfect. If you ride pegs, you need to add pegs and whatever type of pedals you prefer. If you prefer plastic like me, to me, that's the only thing I would change on the bike is add plastic pedals. But to me, this bike is definitely a 10 out of 10. I know I'm dropping other videos and I told y'all my favorite bike is the Fat Ripper. I'm telling you right now, this if you like Fat Rippers, you gotta get this bike a try, it's gonna give. It is, it's crazy, it's gonna give you a run for your money, but swerve way more crazy on it. Overall, the Perry Cream or any bike that says PK Ripper gonna be topping the line. Y'all need to know that. So for the 45th anniversary, I think they outdid themselves. The colorway is crazy, all black with the light blue in there. Remind me of the OM Duro. Y'all know personally, me, I don't like the gears. And, you know this bike is like I said, it's a 10 out of 10. I recommend if you know anybody who has this bike, bought a silver one. Y'all give it a try and see for yourself what the hype is about. With that, we out. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel, man.